Hello everyone, welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within. Okay, there's something I need to do that I've I've been forgetting about, and I want to thank my viewers for uh, posting comments and giving me help on what to do. That is very helpful, and I appreciate it. So what I've been forgetting to do is, in the gray market, some of the items you have are damaged. You can see there's five damaged flight computers. Yeah, UFO flight computer. And six damaged UFO power sources. And as you can see over here, this item has no research benefit and can be sold freely. There's literally no reason to keep these, they're useful for nothing. So I actually have a bunch of money that I can get right now. Yep. Things are definitely picking up out there. We'll have to monitor our available resources carefully. Yes, thank you, Central. Much appreciated. Okay, so now I have a bunch of money to play with. So what do I have going on right now? Well, my skeleton suit is going to be done in just a second. Um, three satellites will be done in 12 days. My ammo conservation will be done pretty soon as well. I'm building an Illyrium generator, which will allow me to build pretty much anything I want to build, as far as power requirements go, for quite a while, so I won't need to worry about power. I guess the next thing I should build is probably just another satellite uplink. What else can I build? Well, I need power for this stuff, but... Don't need that, don't need that. Oh, sa oh, satellite nexus, yeah. That's what I should build over a normal satellite uplink. Because it's much more space efficient. Another laboratory would be good. I have two workshops, but only one lab. Hmm. I don't really need to worry about building stuff right now, though. So I don't think I'm going to focus on that. Uh... What should I do? Okay. I really want the scope upgrade because that's pretty much an across-the-board upgrade to all of my non-mech soldiers because they always carry scopes. So that's going to increase everyone's chance of getting critical shots. And it only costs 75. So I'm just going to do that. It's cheap. It's probably quick. Yeah, seven days. Now, these things would be good. Of course, I can't afford them now that I just spent money, but that's fine. Both cost 300. One would increase the mobility of my mechs, and the other would increase their health. Or their armor, more accurately. So that's good, but I don't really need it. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project ready for production. What I really want to do is do some gene mods. Okay, so... Spectre... Where's Spectre? Am I blind? Where's, where's Spectre? Spectre, Spectre, Spectre. Spe what the f- There you are. I was blind to your name for some reason. Okay, so she really needs muscle fiber density. That is basically a requirement for a sniper. So let's give you that. That's going to leave me with 25 meld. Okay, what else can I get? And who should get it? I still have none of the brain gene mods for some reason. Those should be interesting. Mimetic skin. Don't have the stuff for that. Uh, I don't really care for bioelectric skin. I don't know how good that is. It doesn't sound very good, to be frank. Secondary heart would be nice, but definitely not for a sniper. Because snipers are pretty much the ones that are least likely to be killed. I suppose it actually would be especially good for a sniper, this depth perception. And hyperreactive pupils would also be something that's good just for everyone to have, and it's so cheap. Um, but I think I'll just give her depth perception for now. And I'll probably do the same thing to Isley after Spectre comes back, because I don't want both of my snipers out at the same time. Now, who else was I going to give stuff? Yep, 75 bucks. 75 space bucks with the weird symbol and 30 triangle orange things. Thank you, Commander. I'll have the volunteer prepped and ready for surgery shortly. I'll send word when the procedure is complete. Now, who else was I going to give stuff to? What was it? What was it? I think it was memetic skin, right? Yeah, I wanted another assault with memetic skin. But who did I want to give it to? Was it Ochner? I know it's another assault. It's got to be Ochner. Right? Hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Actually, where are my squatties? My, uh... Yeah, where are my squatty assaults that I just got? Are they not eligible because they're not high enough level? Do you have to be a certain level? I'm not sure. I, I don't want to do that to them anyway. So... Yeah, let's just give it to Ochner, I guess. Oh, that's right. I just talked about how I couldn't afford it because I don't have enough meld. Um, I'm just going to save my meld. We're good. I have 200 bucks left. Oh yes, one of the other things I want to do is get some more soldiers. I could also make it so new soldiers are automatically automatically promoted to the squatty rank, which it sounds really good and it would be very good if you were cycling a lot of people and you had to keep refreshing your... <laughs> this sounds bad. If you had to keep refreshing your stock of, <laughs> of soldiers, <laughs> that sounds horrible. But yes, if you had to keep getting new ones because they kept dying, for example, if you were playing on a very high difficulty, this is something you'd want, but for me, I don't think it's worth it. I mean, if they get one, basically one kill, they're going to be promoted to squatty. But I definitely want more soldiers. I only have two unranked. Wait, where the f where are my assaults? I thought I just got two of them. I'm s I'm so confused. I just hold on. What were their names? Let me let me get my name list here. I just got two assaults in the last mission. I did. They were Shimbo and Gravity, right? Oh, here they are. Oh, I keep, I keep missing them because of the way the scrolling in this game works. When you use the scroll wheel, it doesn't smoothly move up and down. It just, like, skips to the... It basically skips a whole page. Like, look at this. I'm only moving the scroll wheel up and down once. One click. So, yeah, this is an entirely new page. Almost. I thought I was looking at the same assaults, but I'm not. Okay, my mind is at ease. There they are. It's, it's so weird. No, anytime I scroll, it doesn't normally scroll an entire page. It scrolls down like this, smoothly. But for some reason, this game, it doesn't. It's very disorienting. What the hell was I even doing? I was check. Oh yeah, I was checking how many soldiers I have. Right, so let me see how many names I have unnamed. Okay, so I need... I have three more names. Two, three, yeah, three more names. Uh, viewer names to give to soldiers. So I'd like at least three. So let's hire some soldiers. I only need one to get to three, but let's get a couple... Let's give a couple backups. Yeah. Just in case, you know. Just in case. It's good to have them around. And aside from that, I really need to upgrade my... My ships, my uh, aircraft. Yeah. See, one of the research projects I'm going to do soon ish is a new fighter craft. So I don't want to actually build any new aircraft at the moment, not really. Maybe, maybe I will, we'll see. But for now, what I definitely want to do is just upgrade the weapons. Because I can put the new weapons on whatever new ships I get. So I, I won't be wasting resources. Because these avalanche missile missiles are just pathetic. Yeah. So, let's see what I can get here. Um, I think I need to go back here. Engineering, build, build items... Uh, laser cannon? No, 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 there's something better, wasn't there? No, the laser cannon was the better thing. Yeah. I could have sworn I already bought some. Maybe I only bought phoenix cannons. Hmm. How good is this, actually? I don't know, it doesn't seem amazing. I might get some much better stuff soon, so... Maybe I should only replace my avalanche missiles and not all of my stuff? That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. 
The Phoenix Cannon should be good enough. It's so much better. It's got a short range, but the fire rate is rapid and it has medium armor penetration. Oh, I can't- oh, I can't change your loadout until you're repaired. Alright. We'll have to wait for you. I could order one for- no, I don't want to order any. It's 40. Nah. Okay, I think that's... it. Skeleton suit will be the next thing to do. To... to come in. Yeah, let's just wait. Okay. What the hell is this thing? First attempt at combining medium weight body armor with an integrated grappling hook for scaling objects in the field. Cool, let's go check that out in a second. Illyrium. Hmm, apparently it's a source of power generation. Ooh, yeah, the autopsy. Let's do the autopsy. It's only gonna be two days. The men are calling this beast the Berserker. Although it shares the same structure as the Muton, for reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. One could even say it is... Berserk. That was a terrible German accent, I'm sorry. Um, let's go check out the item. I'm forgetting what I'm doing, like, how do I play? Where, where's stuff? What was I doing? I sound distracted, but I'm not. I, there's nothing to distract me at the moment, but for some reason I feel distracted. I don't know. I'm kind- I'm, sl I'm slightly sleep deprived? If this is how I am when I'm slightly sleep deprived, imagine how I'd be if I was very sleep deprived. By sleep deprived, I mean I got seven hours sleep instead of eight, by the way. That, that's my slightly sleep deprived. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, like, not even really sleep-deprived at all. But hey, I'm drinking tea, so maybe that'll bring me up. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Man, this stuff is so cheap. Um. So is it just better or what? Let's check it out. So, four health. That's it. Okay, three health, but it has a grappling hook. And the wearer's movement distance is increased. Hmm. I really don't want to sacrifice health, though. No. I mean, increasing the movement distance is nice, although it doesn't say how much for some reason. Like, how much does it increase it by? One... one square? Two squares? But when it comes to the grappling hook, I can get the same effect without having to wear it just by doing a gene mod, which is what I'd rather do, than sacrifice even one health. I mean, my snipers don't need it. They've got the gene mods. My other people... Eh, I don't think they need it. I don't. No, they're fine. Alright, I hope this ammo conservation finishes before I have to go into the field again, because I really, really want it. Now armed with a laser cannon. Cool. Okay. Combat stims and neural damping. Oh, it's got to be a brain gene mod. A brain mod. This powerful stimulant, cocktail derived from a chemical found in the lands of the Mirton. Uh, temporary boost to several... Blah, blah. A temporary boost to several of our soldiers' vital statistics. Converse plus 20 will. When defending against psi attacks, an immunity to panic. Oh. If the soldier is mind controlled, the control is cancelled and the soldier is stunned for one turn instead. Oh my god. Okay, that's not particularly amazing right now. But later in the game, when you actually can be mind controlled, that would be incredibly valuable. Let's see how much it costs. Now let's do Illyrium next. Yeah, let's see how much that costs. That's a moderate cost, not extremely high, not extremely low. Yeah. 
That's going to be good later down the line, but not yet. There's no reason to take it right now. No one's even attempted to use a Psy attack against my soldiers yet. Wait a minute. What about the craft? One just finished, but... Oh, 18 hours for that to be finished repairing. Okay. Oh! Exalt operation. Another one? <sighs> Sabotage has drained $50 from our cash reserves. Exalt, I'm coming for you. You don't take $50 from me and get away with it. Not without having some choice words with John Cotton Candy Smith. Although, I've heard it's his flamethrower that does the talking. Oh, and our new soldiers just came in. Alright, let's do it. I am I'm not going to send you. Well, you did pretty good in the last mission, Gary Warner. Mr. Allcap's name, so I'm going to send you again. You are far from the ideal agent to do this because you don't have a medic skin, but it's fine. Now, do you have the stuff? No, you do not have the stuff. Let's give you a vest, and... There's really no reason to take the scope because she only has a pistol, and a very terrible pistol at that because it's unupgraded, so it does like 1 to 2 damage. Uh, medkit or grenade? No, no, we're tracking several contacts, but nothing like that. Let's do grenade. All right, we'll look into it. All right, go have fun, Gary Warner. Covert operative deployed to disrupt exalt cell in Brazil. You know what? I totally forgot that you can scan for intel. I totally forgot you could do that. No, that's fine. I mean, we're about to attack a exalt cell, so I don't think I need to do that at the moment. Alright, let's take away these horrible avalanche missiles and give you some laser cannons. And we're back to playing the waiting game. Okay, ammo conservation is going to be done in one day. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, thank God. That's all there is to do with that, and let's keep waiting. Nope, here we go. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Oh my god. <sighs> well, as always, I want the money. But, I really can't lose any more countries. So, I'm gonna have to take this one just because they're the most panicked. It's going to cause Germany to panic, because I believe, I think the panic goes up by two when you don't take their missions, so I think Germany's going to panic, but it's okay. I, I can help them out later. Argentina's been panicked for a while, so eh, let's go with them. Right. Who am I going to... What the... What the... Moose, where the hell's your suit? You're looking a little naked there. Why don't you have your suit on? What? I never took it off. There you go. What the hell? That was weird. It was indecent to be exposed like that. Come on, Moose. You know better than that. Why did that come off? Very strange. Oh yeah. Right. We need our support. Um, I will take arrow. Do I want the arc thrower? I don't. No, not on this mission. I'll save that for easier missions, not a very difficult one. Let's give you a scope. Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't have a sniper. No, I've got gravity and shimbo. My new, my new squaddies, who are both assaults, which I don't need any more of. 
Okay. Well, I need one sniper. Um... I, I'm gonna take... Oh, no, she's... Ah. Oh. I forgot, Spectre's still in the genetics lab. I thought she'd come out. Okay, in that case, we are going to take Izelli. Oh, I need to replace her weapon. <sighs> do I take a newbie? I probably should. Who do I have? I'm not, I'm not gonna take a squatty, that's for sure. But I will take a lower ranked. Hmm. I don't have any lower ranked that aren't assaults. And I don't really want two assaults. I really don't want two assaults. I don't want to go without a heavy. I really don't want to go without a heavy. Yeah. I'm going to take soul. I want to get some newbies in here, but they need to be the right class. I don't want to overload myself on classes. I really want to have one of each class. I really do. Alright, so there's been some weird loadout stuff, so let me make sure everybody has the right stuff. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. You're good. You're good. You are not good. Carapace. Laser sniper rifle. That's fine. Best. And let's go. Wait a minute. That's not the laser. That's a laser rifle. Oh, never mind. That actually is a laser sniper rifle. I have to say, that one looks a lot more like an actual sniper rifle, but apparently that's the right one. Heavy laser, rocket, scope, and nanofiber vest. Okay. Everyone's kitted out. Yep. 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 Hold on, this is going to drive me crazy. For everyone else? I did the vest first. And then the scope. There we go, now it's consistent. Actually, no, no, oh god, now I'm Oh, fuck it, I'm just going to leave it. We're going. We're going. Everything's good. Gotta stop the OCD. We have visual on the mission. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. You're gonna seize the aliens and we're gonna shoot them and then the shit's gonna happen. Let's go. I really don't need the report. It's always the same stuff. Oh my god, aliens, get meld, don't die. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. This is very unfortunate. We have a huge building here, but unfortunately I can't get on the roof. Oh, whoa, it's like a city block. It's actually really small, though, compared to the... Yeah, this is really small. Okay, if, if this is very difficult and it's this small, that means there's going to be some really, really big stuff. Yeah. Let me re-familiarize myself with what I have, what everyone has, their stuff. Mm-hmm. You've got run and gun, rapid fire, rapid reaction, you have the disabling shot, you have your super duper rocket, and you have bullet storm. Both of my mechs can shoot twice and one of them can use grenades now. Mm-hmm. You have your super smoke grenade as well as a bunch of- you have so many things. You're so high level, Graves. Covering fire, medic, 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 medic. Yeah, they're mostly medic stuff. Yeah, I've gotten so many medkit upgrades and stuff, uh, I can now do 8 hit points. And if I get the, the medkit upgrade thing in the foundry, this will heal 12. Which would be amazing. 
pretty much that would get any of my normal people up to basically max health, almost guaranteed. Unless they're at like one hit point. Anyway, yeah, I can't I can't put my sniper in a particularly advantageous position, unfortunately. So the first thing to do is scout. Which way should I go? Which way has the most cover? Eh, I don't know. Let's just go here. Yeah, I don't really like this. Th this map is... Ooh. This map is kind of disturbing. Because it's very small, and it's very difficult, and there's nowhere good to put my sniper. Wait a minute. This is like the starting mission. Sort of. Except this was a washing... Like a, a laundromat. But yeah, this building, this building here and this building here is like the same. As a starting position, just with different stuff inside. Hmm. Strange. Right. Well, let's grab that meld. We need to get it pretty quickly. Please don't discover aliens. Good. My sniper should hang pretty far back. And should have a good vision pretty much everywhere, so I'm just gonna plop you there. Okay. Yes, coriander. It's a- oh! Mm. One goddamn square. One fucking square. If I had gone one square pat back, I wouldn't have uncovered them. Motherfucker. Fucking shit fuck. <sighs> great. Just great. Well, if I could blow them up, that'd be... No, I can't shoot. Wait a minute, what was that? Is that on the roof? <laughs> I could blow up the top of the building if I wanted to. I'd like to blow up those two sectoids. Like, really, really would like to blow them up. Before they maybe mind meld with the mectoid thing. Which you can do, by the way. I've seen it done in multiplayer. I'm assuming single player can happen as well. So, I'm gonna move up. I know there's Overwatch, but it's not gonna trigger. Okay. I saw you. I saw you. Come back. Come back. Come on. I was actually disappearing even though I'm not moving. Come on. There we go. This better work. Okay. Whew. That takes care of a big problem. I don't know what you just said, but I, I guess I agree. Sure. Sure, why not? Right, well, we obviously can't kill him this... this turn. Let's move a bit closer. See if I can take a shot, which I probably can't. Nope. And then get closer for next turn, I guess? What do you have? You have stuff that repairs you. When the mech takes damage, all further damage will be reduced by two for the next two turns. Mm-hmm. The nearest... Invisible enemy suffers minus 20 aim and cannot critically hit this unit. Oh, you can't make critical hits. Okay. In that case, Tyrone, guess what? You're gonna be a bullet sink. Have fun. I immediately regret doing that now that he's taking 6 damage. But remember, all further damage is reduced by 2. So you might live! And you're gonna be healed by 2 at the end of the turn. So that's good? Yeah? Okay, I, I really hope I don't fucking regret that. Can you use a medkit to restore mechs? Like, can they go into critically- oh fuck, this- oh man. 
That might have been really dumb. No! <gasps> oh! Oh, wow, really? That, that's actually great for me. It fucked off. The, the mechdoid is scared. Okay. Well. Well. Right, you're in Overwatch. There's a sectoid as well. I could do quite a bit of damage to you if I run and gun here. Uh, hold on, you probably have a... Yep, of course, you always have a shot. Ooh, I could cause this weapon to malfunction. That would actually be a pretty good thing. See, here's the thing, though. If I cause this weapon malfunction, it can repair that malfunction by reloading. So... Would it be able to reload and then shoot, or would it behave like all my units where... Even if you have, like, Bullet Swarm, you can shoot twice, but if you do something... Like, like if you do an... If you used a medkit, for example... When you hadn't spent any of your two points, your two action points, it'll use up your entire turn. So you couldn't reload and then shoot, for example. I'm assuming they work the same way, in which case a disabling shot would actually disable it from shooting the entire turn. Even if it has something like Bullet Swarm, which they do, because these things can shoot twice. If that makes any sense, maybe? Alright, well... I might as well move you up at least, right? Okay, now we can see what we're working with. Oh my god, do not activate that. We cannot fucking take on two mectoids and a berserker and a muton. Oh, this is a nightmare. I am not taking her out of... Out of her little... Out of a mimetic skin there. Nope, nope, nope. Fuck, how do I do this? <sighs> Can I kill that mechtoid this turn? Let's find out. That shouldn't activate Overwatch, right? No, it doesn't. Let's, let's just pound on this thing for a while. If we can kill it, great. If we can't, we can use Disabling Shot. I, r I really, really, really want to get a rocket in there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I... No, I mean, I could hit it. But there's so many better uses of my rocket. If I move you out, you're going to trigger Overwatch. I don't want to move you out of full cover either. I really don't. See, these could come back around... I don't know what that thing's going to do. It could come that way or it could come out the front. I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it this turn. Not without expending my rocket. Which I'm not willing to do against one enemy. Hold on, what do I do with you? Okay, I can actually... Mm, I can shoot twice. What's the chances of that actually killing him? It's like roughly a 30% chance. 30% chance of killing him? Is that worth it? I don't know. It might be. I don't want this meld, too. But I probably shouldn't worry about it. I'm gonna take the shots. Okay. Come on. Oh, God, it's gonna... It's worked! Good job! 
That was like a roughly 30% chance. That was relatively low chance to actually work. But it worked. Work it did. Okay, now I can move without worrying about its overwatch. I want her to be in, I want Soul to be in full cover and also be in a good position to use her rocket. Because I'm probably going to be using it very soon. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. That's full cover. That, that's full cover? The sight of a sign? I'll take it. I'm assuming that gives me... Yeah, I can shoot a lot of things from here. Alright, it's Overwatch. And, of course, Overwatch. Hmm, is it going to come from the front or the back? I have no idea. I'm going to assume it's going to come from here. Alright, so if that thing pops its head out, it's going to get, I think, like, three. I love those repair servos. Probably three. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't be, don't see us, don't see us, don't see us, don't see us. Wait a minute, they took cover. They must have seen us then. Shit. Oh no! The fucking sectoid! You bloody, bloody shit. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Is that where you're gonna stay? I would love it if you... S no, don't move. Ooh. Isley? 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 Uh, you just blew up Graves' cover! What the fuck, Isley? Jesus. Yeah, just blow up all the cover. Fuck cover, because who needs it? Oh my god. I'm sad. Okay. I need to kill that little shit. That's going to be your job. Because that makes that thing, like, fucking invincible. If the if it works in single player like it does in multiplayer, what the shield thing does, aside from just giving it more health, as you can see, it gives, you, it gives it six more hit points. How it also behaves in multiplayer, if I'm remembering correctly, is that while the shield is still active, the mechtoid will take half damage. So in other words, these six hit points actually take 12 hit points to remove. So it's basically like you just increased its total hit points by more, a little bit more than 50%. It's incredibly powerful. Okay. Let me see how what I can do with the rocket. Let me see if I can pull off some rocket magic. Nah, they moved a little bit too far. I can't get all three. Alright, it's going to do 6 damage, so 5, 6... Um... Do I want to use it? Maybe I don't. You have a bullet swarm, you can shoot twice. I can't believe you only have a 63% chance to hit the Berserker. That's about 100 feet away and no cover at all. Alright. Well, there's there's zero doubt that I'm going to use you to kill you. So, let's just do that first, shall we? Um, yeah, I'll put you there. Oh my god! Hello! Goodbye! Now, what do I do with the rest of them? I could punch you in the face. That would... Of course, it would get you down to one hit point if I punched you. That's wonderful. Sniper! Isley! I kind of want to save you for the mechtoid. Yeah, I can deal with these foos. I could flame the Berserker, but it wouldn't reach back there. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Okay, I can do that, and then I could punch him, and then... Yeah, let's do that. So, do a bit of damage, blow up their cover. 
Oh, that makes it even better, actually. You're going to come even closer. You are no cover at all because Isley blew up your cover. Let's just pop this open. For the fun of it. And... I could punch you in the face, which I probably should do. Let's do that last. You need to be in cover. The mechtoid's probably going to come out in this direction, so I want you in cover relative to that position. Full cover would be incredibly preferable. Unfortunately, I don't see any of it. Um. Okay, you know what? I want this meld. So, I'm just going to pop you around here. You'll be fine, Graves. Don't worry. And I'm going to punch you in the face. Incredibly hard, because it's very satisfying. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, that is a thing of beauty. Now, who do I have left to kill? Oh, achievement unlocked. Someone your own size, indeed. You big meanie. That's unlikely to kill him. Oh, but wait, that's right, you have Bullet Swarm. Never mind. Yeah, you're probably gonna die. Oh! On the first hit! It was a crit. Good job, soul. That means you can Overwatch, so I'm gonna have two Overwatches. Alright. Show your face, Mechtoid. Good luck. He's back up to full health, like a boss. Gamma. Oh, okay. You could not move. That's fine. All right, we need to figure out what's going on. What's it doing? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's it's just running. It, it is literally just running away. It's scared. And there's the other melt canister. Okay, see, this is where you want to use a rocket. Like, absolutely. That is perfect for a rocket. It would be incredibly efficient. So, let's get her in a position to shoot a rocket. How far can she shoot? Right, she needs to be quite a bit closer. Hmm. I don't like half cover, but it's probably the for the best. Yeah, let's go here. I really need that rocket. It's it's gonna be incredibly valuable to shoot that rocket off. Where do I put you? I don't want the enemies to know I'm here just yet. And I don't want to go around the back. Because there could be more enemies and I don't want to discover them. I'm just going to put you like here. They shouldn't see you. Hopefully don't see you. Okay. And... I'd like to overwatch with you, but I think I should reload. Yeah. <laughs> this little bit is a little bit of half cover right here. This bit of rubble. Right. Graves, you can't help at all from back there, unfortunately. You can't quite make it. I could take cover behind this tiny table. No, I'm actually going to go here. As, as absurd as it seems, I'm going to go here. And you're way too damn far away. And wow, you really can't move very far, can you? You can jump, but you can't run. Let's go here. <laughs> she even has a shot from there. 
Now, I want him close too, because he could probably lob a grenade in there, so if I can get a rocket and a grenade off, that would do 5, 6, that would actually kill all of them. If they didn't disperse too much. Alright. I'm clumped together, and I don't have a lot of overwatch here, or any ma Oh, what the fuck? Just- what did I just see? What the fuck? No? Is this that- uh, that horrible bug that I've heard about where enemies spawn at your characters? What the fuck was that? They just teleported. The hell was that? That's bullshit. What the fuck was that? If one of my characters dies because of this bullshit, I'm gonna be pissed. Everyone just saw what happened, right? I, the turn ended and the mutons that were there teleported to fucking here. And now Arrow is almost dead. What the fuck? I've he I heard about that bug in the original XCOM Enemy Unknown. I've heard about enemies just teleporting to your characters. I never experienced it though, and I heard it had been fixed. But apparently not. Or this is some sort of magical alien technology, but no. Right, well thankfully the sectoid... Or the, oh no, never mind, it's right... <laughs> did, I, don't even, I wasn't even paying attention because I was too distracted by the teleporting mutons. Did it move or did it teleport too? This is fucked. Are they on Overwatch? I don't even know. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> so, I can kill them... Right, I can kill them with... an RPG and a grenade. Or even a flame, if I wanted to do that for the fun of it. So I can deal with them, but I need to move Arrow first. So, we got this. This, this is fine. Alright, this should do a ton of damage. Potentially even kill you. Probably not. Nope. But you're almost dead. You are flanked. Let's move you into some... Uh, might be blocked. No, I'll move you there. Hopefully he has a shot on the sectoid, or mechtoid, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, he does not. That blows. Right, well, let's just deal with this first. Goodbye, everything. Hold on. And there we go. Those canisters rather than destroying them. Oh, did I blow up a canister? Oh, I blew oh fuck, I blew up the canister I already collected. Well, wait a minute, I already collected it. So does it even matter? I I don't know. Goodbye. Alright. Now, do I use my sniper, or do I use you? Let's... Who do I use? Oh, you're not even in cover anymore, are you? No, what the hell happened to your cover? Must have blown up or something. Hmm. Alright, well, this is, this is probably going to end the mission, but let's just use you. Because I want to put Isley in cover, assuming you're not the last enemy. You probably are, though. Right? Last one? Excellent work. Okay. All objectives complete. Alright, those teleporting mutons were fucking bullshit. It almost killed Arrow. She almost died because of that. That's one of the reasons I'm just a little bit disturbed by playing on Iron Man, because... If you're not playing on, on, on Iron Man, you can make your own saves, and if a bug happens that unfairly wipes out your squad or something, or a member, you can revert. 
so I really hope that doesn't happen again. If it does and someone dies, I can't go back. How does that even happen? An impressive effort. I'm glad our troops were able to safely acquire more of the meld. How, how, how does that sort of a bug even happen? How do you have teleporting enemies that just teleport to where your characters are? How does that even happen? I don't get it. But anyway, congratulations, Zol. Oh, you are the next colonel. Okay, let's consider these carefully. Rocketeer allows one additional standard rocket to be fired per battle. Mayhem. Confers additional damage based on weapon tech, level 2 suppression, and all area effect abilities. Huh. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me enough information. Additional damage. How much additional damage? And would area of effect abilities include rockets? So in other words, am I kind of choosing between more rockets or a better single rocket? And how, how much? How much additional damage? Okay, how often could I use multiple rockets per battle? Versus how much would more damage be more effective? I don't know. I, I really don't have enough information to decide how good Mayhem is. It doesn't tell me. It's very frustrating. Additional rocket. I can't decide. <sighs> Someone take away the responsibility. Okay, I'll take a sip of tea. Maybe everything will become clear. Okay. Nope. It's still not an easy decision. The tea didn't work. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with Mayhem. There, it's done. There will be more heavies in the future. I can try the other one, the multiple rockets. I'm going for one super powerful rocket instead of a bunch of rockets. We will be in touch, Commander. How's Panic doing? I think it was, yeah, Germany's now panicked, but we took care of Argentina. They are nice and happy. So when I press this, it's gonna go, oh my god! Oh my god, Panic in Germany! Oh, and, and, in, and in India. That's alright, though. They'll calm down. They'll realize an alien invasion isn't really that big of a deal. What was I gonna do? <sighs> Is there anything to do? Research is continuing. The new engineers arrived this morning. Mm -hmm. We're always glad to have more help down here. Excellent, excellent. I don't think there's anything to do but wait. Ooh, how's Arrow doing? She's probably out. Or was she? No. Wow, she got hurt a lot, but apparently she's not out wounded. Excellent. Actually, anything to sell? Damage, damage, da no, I, th I think you'd only get the damage stuff from UFO missions, from crash sites. No, they want flight computers. Five scientists for three flight computers? Hell yeah! I think the Canadian skies are going to be a bit safer now, thanks to us. It's going to speed up research quite a bit. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Best 
Better depth perception and visual processing will allow our soldiers to take greater advantage of elevated firing positions. Right, so that was Spectre, correct? Yep, now she's got the sleeveless shirt thing going on. Combined with the fedora, the battle fedora. It looks quite good. Yep, muscle fiber density and depth perception. Alright, so now that she is back in, I am going to take... Where is it? Research? Yeah, gene lab. I'm going to take Isley and give her depth perception. Very good for a sniper to have. Not so useful for the other classes because they typically won't have a height advantage. Yeah. Wait, I didn't actually give it to her, did I? There we go. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical prep immediately. Once the genetic modification is complete, I will notify you directly. Right, what does this give me? Whoa. Manufacturing this element is beyond our capabilities. We will only be able to use whatever we recover from alien craft and alien bases. Improved arc thrower project available in the foundry. Jellied Illyrium project available in the foundry. I can make Illyrium jam? That sounds delicious. By increasing the power of our arc throwers, we should increase the successful stun rate in combat. Uh, using it in tactical situations is quite risky. In the absence of a full-sized crafts regulator and fuel management systems, adding it to our flamethrowers would be too dangerous. With some additional investment, though, we could devise formula to inc increase flamethrower effectiveness without risking our soldiers. Oh, yes. Even though, to be honest, I've, I've barely used the flamethrower because I'm usually not close enough to actually use it, but still, that sounds amazing. Titan armor. Ooh. Ooh. I want new craft. But... I want Titan armor more. Yep, I'm gonna go for Titan armor. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, check out this jellied Illyrium. 200, not bad. It doesn't exactly say how much it increases its effectiveness by. To be honest though, just the fact that I don't use the flamethrower very much means that it, it just has to get a lower priority than these other stuff. Because jellied uranium or uh, increased effectiveness of my flamethrower would be something I rarely use, whereas this is stuff that would be used all the time. Increase health and increase mobility. And increasing the mobility might actually increase the amount of times I get to use the flamethrower. So yeah, it's going to be low priority, even though it sounds very cool. Scope upgrade will be done in just a second. Done. Let's see just how much that does increase it. Wait. Does it, it doesn't say. It's supposed to increase the chance of critical hits, but it doesn't say it does. Do, do I have to buy new ones? No. Okay, I guess it just does it, even though it doesn't tell you. Hmm. Okay. Isley has completed gene modification. Oh, we have another exalt mission. Time to get Gary, Gary Warner out. Right, so for exalt missions, you definitely don't need to take your best, without a doubt. Who do I not need? See, I feel like I need everyone. Because I don't want to lose anyone's role. Well, okay, I don't need Isley. 
I mean, uh, Spectre isn't a newbie, but she's relatively low level, so I'll, I'll put her in. I could replace Arrow with a lower tiered Assault. Do Ochner? What is his level? Oh, he's actually very... Yeah, that's right, he's actually very high level. He just... He doesn't feel like it because he doesn't have memetic skin. But he's good. He's good. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna take Ochner. Actually, I'm pretty sure they're... Ochner and Arrow are actually the same level, aren't they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> they're the same level. They even have the same abilities, I think. Should I even take Ochner then? No, I won't. I mean, what's the point? They're the same level. I'll take Arrow and I'll, I'll take... I'll start taking Ochner on missions when he has... Mimetic skin, but not before then. I could take a, a really, really low tier assault, though. Or another support. I completely forgot about Blenda. I'm sorry, Blenda, but I forgot about you. What do you have? You're a medic. Which, actually, unfortunately, means you're not terribly useful, because I... Hmm. Alright, I'll take you and level you up. Oh, whoops. Get out of here. Where'd you go? There you are. I'm just kidding, you can come back in. Right. So I'm just replacing some of my uh, roles with lower tiered roles, but I don't want to actually have multiple people of the same class. I want a nice spread of abilities. So I need an assault. So it's going to be either Shimbo or Gravity. I really don't know if I want to use you for this mission. No, I've already got two lower ranked people. No. I don't. I don't. I probably should. But I don't. I don't want to use the lower tiered ones. <sighs> I don't need to. There's no reason to. I already have two assaults that are very high level. I, I don't need, like, two backups. I, I just need one backup. If I have one backup of each class, I'm happy. So, there's no reason to take him. Yeah. I need some complete newbies. But, I don't want to take him on this... Ah, fuck, I should take him! Ah. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for, like, small UFOs. Yeah. Loadouts. Good, good, good. Good. Not good. Wait a minute, you're my support? Yeah, you're my support. You need, you need a medkit. What's your, what's your armor? Why am I missing armor? I've, I've never not had another piece of armor. What the hell? Something's not right. I have the same amount of mechs. I, I have four normal people. Don't they usually have armor? Something's wrong. Something's very wrong. I have more than... Oh, I gave it to Gary Warner who's on the mission. Yep. Okay. 
All right, who needs the armor the least? Um. I guess my sniper, just because she's going to be in the back, even though she's the most squishy, so to speak. She's also going to be the one most in the back, so she doesn't really need it that much. I'll give her a grenade, even though it's pretty, pretty much the most useless thing you could possibly have for someone who's going to be far in the back. What the hell is going to give her, though? Eh, grenade. Everyone good? Laser, 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 laser. Laser, 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 armor, 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 we're good. We have visual on the mission site, setting down. We have a lead regarding an exalt cell operating in Brazil. We'll need to ensure our operative safety in order to secure the necessary data. Ooh, I think the naming of this mission might be an auspicious event, if that's a correct use of the word. Spectral Moon. Did you hear that, Spectre? It's calling you. You have a mission. I swear, my next episode is going to be an hour of me just figuring out how to load out my troops and who to select. One of our covert operatives was nearly successful in hacking a series of exalt comm relays when enemy forces moved into the area. If we're going to have any chance of recovering that data, we'll need Strike One to provide protection while the operative finishes hacking the remaining arrays. If we lose the operative, we won't be able to recover the intel. Okay, one of these again. Objective updated. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And of course, you can dash to the first one. Which would be extremely unwise. I'm just going to leave you there for now. There's no reason to run. There's no time limit here. The only way you can lose is by having your operative die. Ooh, lots of full cover. Well, kind of. Okay. Right, Spectre, now you have muscle fiber density, which is amazing. So, I'm going to plop you... Hmm... You're probably going to be discovered if you go up there. Yeah, why don't you go there? Okay. Because the first ones are going to hack. We are going to hack would be this one. So I'm going to come around the right side. Not go through the inside. Actually, maybe I should go through the inside. Because otherwise they might shoot us in the back. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Maybe. Right, so who are my newbies? My relative newbies. My support's relatively low level and so is my sniper. Although honestly with muscle fiber density and squad sight. And, oh wait, you have battle scanner. Yeah, you have the battle scanner. Okay. I totally forgot about that. I gotta use that. Yes, Commander. Go on, Blunda. I promise I won't blow you up this time. Maybe. Although it is tempting. No. And you now have... Mayhem, which does something. That is incredibly vague. Additional damage based on weapon tech level to suppression and all area effect abilities. Great, thanks for the info. Right, so instead of 6 damage, it does 8. That's pretty good. Yeah, I want to take a look in here. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I took arrow, which means I can scout. Actually, if I do that, I'm not really scouting, because then if there are people in here, they're going to see my troops out here, which means they'll be discovered, which means that's kind of dumb. Shit, what do I do with you? Run here? No. Um. 
Let's move here. You can look in the window. Yep, that's exactly what I suspected. A little group of them there. I could jump up on the roof, which is honestly very tempting. Alright, well, let's just move you close into here so you can come around the side. Hopefully you don't discover any new enemies. That would suck. That would suck. That would really suck. That would really... Okay, good. Ooh. Is it really your turn? No. Let's move everyone else first. There's no reason to bust down that door just yet. I want you in range to lob a grenade in there if I need to. So, let's move you here. Yes, Commander. I'm just gonna leave you in here for now. Let's get into full cover. That's affirmative. And hunker down. Overwatch, overwatch, and we're good. Oh no, are you gonna discover my operative? No. <laughs> In fact, I'm not even sure how I can see them. But, yeah, she's not discovered, right? She can't shoot them. What the hell are you doing? What the? That was weird. I clicked and lost control of the camera for like five seconds. No, she can't see him. And... She could... Not throw a grenade far enough. Never mind. Oh, where'd they go? Let's go take a peek, shall we? What the hell? Where did they go? Uh. It's weird. Could throw a battle scanner, I get. Look, yeah, you can see how huge it is. It really is massive. I don't really need it, though. Not at the moment. Yeah, I'm just gonna move you here. I think she'll be safe. I don't think they'll be able to see her. No. Good. I'm just gonna move you in. Because apparently they're not they're not gonna discover you when you just walk in there because Arrow already did it. Yeah, let's take a look around this place. Where are they? They were right there. I guess just do some overwatch. If they decide to come out the door, they are going to have some fun. If you consider a fist to the face, a lot of fun. Move her a little bit more around the corner. No need to ask twice. All right, something's about to happen. Come on. What was that? I don't know. 
Oh, shit. Do they... Do they... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she's in mortal danger. And I... Where the fuck did this group go? Are they, like, right here? Actually, can I... Oh, no, mechs can't really open doors. They can break down doors and move through them, but they can't just open them. Let me see. Of course you have a shot. <laughs> God, that's amazing. Alright, that's a guaranteed death. What can I do with a grenade? Might be able to pull some shit with a grenade. No. I don't think I should. No, I'm just gonna move her to a safe position where they probably can't get to her. Let's do this. Yeah, they'd, they'd have to do some serious maneuvering to be able to shoot at her from there. So, she should be safe. And next turn, she can get to hack this thing. Oh, fuck, I should have taken the shot. Oh! I should have taken the shot before moving because now the squad site's been nullified. It's okay, though. They're gonna move towards her and I can just put her on overwatch and she'll probably take a shot. But there's a greater mystery to solve here. Where did these bastards go? Corner? I don't get it. What the fuck? Where did you go? The group was right here. Did they teleport? They must... I, I don't know. It must be the other group now or something. They must have moved out, I guess. I just didn't see them. Anyway, let's get into the fight here, shall we? Yeah, they're just not in the warehouse anymore, at all. They're gonna be coming around here. <laughs> There's an upper level up here. It could be a good height advantage, actually, if you were shooting at people inside of the warehouse, but I am not. Let's get in a position to support Gary Warner in his endeavors of hacking. Let's just put you on Overwatch. I hope there isn't a group of enemies right in here. System We're about to find engaged. out. Because I want him close enough to maybe flame or grenade the people over here. Please, 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 please. Okay. Whew. He can bust out of those doors and say, Surprise! That's my plan for next turn. Bust out of those doors. You can't get... Actually, no, you can go right there. It's perfect. Pop that thing open next turn and shoot a rocket. Rocket time. Go, Team Rocket. Really? Nothing? Alright, well. It's, uh... Oh, wait, I can't hack that thing, can I? No, that's not one I can hack. This is the one I need to hack. You saw someone. We have an operative in position to begin the hack, Commander. We just have to activate the relay to acquire the data. All right, now is the perfect time for a battle scanner. Let me get everyone in a position, though, because actually, maybe I don't need it. Yeah, let's get you into the shit arrow. This is what you're made for. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we can see someone. Now let me guess, you got a perfect headshot, right? Of course. Although, maybe I shouldn't use a headshot. There's really no reason to use a headshot. I should save that for when someone's in mortal danger. In fact, maybe I should just throw a battle scanner. Nah, there's no reason to. I'm just gonna take a normal shot. Adrenaline surge. If 
I used a grenade. Could I blow up a tank? Would that cause like a massive explosion blowing up a tank? Just like a car? Except even bigger? Or what? I mean, you couldn't really blow up a tank. It's much more resilient than a car. I don't know. Let's move you in, though, so you can do something next turn. Walk around and flame him in the face, and what's going on out here? Anything? Anything? No. No. Pretty uneventful. She could actually dash onto the roof. It'd be a good position to shoot a rocket from, but also incredibly exposed. Therefore, that is an unwise idea. I'll just leave you there. Ooh, I want you closer to the fight for your kinetic strike. Yeah. Let's move you in there. Oh, I saw there's another one hiding right behind him. What a perfect place for a grenade. I'm on it, Commander. Or some other explosive. Come on, your move. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. They never do anything. Oh. They're popping in. Blunder. Ha <laughs> ha, good job. That was a weird action cam. An action cam that didn't show anything after the action already happened. Well, alright, let's do this. Our operative decrypted some of the exalt data and temporarily disrupted their communications. That ought to slow them down. Now we just need to find and hack the remaining relays. Right. So, number one is get you the hell out of here. Into safety. No, don't fire. To the next comm relay, which is over here. So, let's move you... Let's move you here. Affirmative. Moving out. Right. You're out of the picture. Those are not good chances to hit. What can you do? Let me guess, you can kill everyone... ...with a single touch. Of the trigger. Of course. Oh, oh, there's this cool little overlay because of the... ...the super height advantage thing. Neat. Although it actually makes it kind of... It's actually kind of distracting, as cool as it looks. It's a little bit distracting. Right, so that pretty much guarantees your death. I wonder what her chances of being hit are. She has a massive height advantage, but she's also not in cover. Defense 10. That's terrible. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't want to leave anyone alive here. Because Spectre is a very easy target. I know there's two back there. Which is why I don't even have to get out of cover. To do... Come on, stop freaking out here. Do that. <laughs> uh, didn't destroy their cover, unfortunately. Don't use, don't need to use my rocket. Can't even really use it anyway. Right. Time to deal with you. Goodbye. 
slow motion death. You are being flanked, which is most unfortunate. Ooh, full cover. That is some wonderful full cover and also would provide a flanking shot. But it probably wouldn't kill him. If you move, you're going to be revealed because you can be seen. By who? Who can see you? You can see her. What's your chance? 42. Not bad. Not great. Can you punch him? No, you can't. But you could shoot. In fact, you could even get a flanking shot. And you... Oh, no, you can't shoot twice because you're going to have to move. Is it worth it? Yeah, I mean, I've got to get him in the fight somehow. Let's do it. He can take the damage. He's a tank. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You only have one hit point. That would kill you and hurt the other one. Is there any point in doing that, though? Not really. We just eat up a lot of ammo. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with him in a second. Okay, you do that, and you do that. How do I kill you? How do I kill you? Hmm. Let's try this first. Maybe I'll get a crit. I do have the upgraded scopes after all. Nope. Not a crit. You can't move into position to shoot. Right. I kind of want to use my run gun to kill him rather than kill the other two. Let me check my uh, overdrive for a second here. I'm sure it does what, it, what I think it does. As the first action no longer ends the turn. Okay, yep. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. Strange as it is to do that, it guarantees one of their deaths, whereas my normal shot was like a 70% chance or whatever the hell it was. It wasn't maxed. And this guy is pretty close to some relatively sensitive people, whereas my mech can tank the shots from one exalt without a problem. So I'm going to use a run and gun to kill this bastard. I don't want my back exposed, but I also need to be kind of close. I'm just going to stand out in the open. It sounds crazy, but no one's going to be able to shoot me once this guy's dead. Like, the other guy's way too far away. I think. Yeah, you're dead. Move you or put you into Overwatch. I'm going to be getting this next. Uh, no, I like your position. It's good. Okay. One Exalt Trooper is going to attempt to shoot my mech, probably. Or it's going to run away. Which is probably what I would do, too. I would run away. I would be very, very scared. Oh, it healed. That's not going to help you as much as you think it will. Is it time for a batter, battle scanner? I think it might be. Okay. Let's move closer. I wish I could zoom out more. This is disorienting as all hell. Uh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, there's two of them. See? And now I can lob a grenade at them. Or could I even flame them? No, goddamn, I need more mobility. I can't do shit. I'd love to flame their faces. But unfortunately, another grenade is by far the best option. This is just too much fun. Before I do that, though, I might as well move over at least a little bit. So for my next, my next turn, I'm a little bit closer to this comm relay. Yeah, let's do that. That's affirmative. I love these grenades so much. I could even rocket them, which would be hilarious, but totally over the top. Alright, I gotta get my people in the game here. Gonna run into position to the next calm relay. Can't do another collateral damage because you don't have enough ammo. In fact, one shot would take up all of your stuff, so I don't I don't know how to use them really. This kinetic strike, it just like I can never get close enough to use it. I'm just gonna put him here so we can use it next turn. I've got to use him somehow. And if I keep holding him back, he's never going to do anything with his kinetic strike. Affirmative. Moving out. Yes, sir. Overwatch, so if they decide to poke their heads out to say hello, they're gonna get blown to smithereens. Oh. That just healed like all the damage I did to them. Oh, hi! <laughs> they think they're all badass. I can see every one of you thanks to my battle scanner, which is amazing, by the way, as you can now see. Oh, you think spreading out's gonna help you? <laughs> you fuckers. You stupid fuckers. Y'all gonna die. Alright, it doesn't look like I can blow up the comm relays. Because they're not going red when I do this. Who can I kill? That's weird. Oh, shot is blocked. Is that why it's not working? They're not going red. Even though they're obviously gonna take damage. Like, look, look at this guy. He's obviously gonna take damage, but he's not going red for some reason. weird. Who do you have a shot on? That's a terrible shot. Just terrible. Just terrible. Is it grenade time? No, that'd be pathetic. I could flank him with a pistol. Right. I need to see who I can take out with AoEs, if I can take any out, and then pick off the rest. You can't run and gun yet. But you can move freely. I'll decide where to put you next turn, because you're not going to shoot anybody this turn, that's for sure. I could smash your face. I need to consider what everybody else can do. I can smash your face, or I could shoot your face. But it's probably better to shoot your face because you have more health. So again, AoEs. Can I flame anyone? Not really. Can I grenade anyone? Yes. How many can I grenade? One. Two? No. Oh, I could almost reach the other guy. I can reach his cover, but not him. 
Wait a minute, can I just move him? I could just move him up. Or I could just shoot him. Actually, that'd be terrible. And if I move him out here, I'm going to be moving him to Shooting Gallery Alley. Where he's going to take a bunch of shots. I think it's worth it. I'm going to move him up one. There we go. Excellent. He now has no cover. To reposition these people. That would be a, actually that'd be excellent to reposition them. I could do both. Ooh, okay. So I'm gonna move you. Here, relative safety. Maybe I could have used your grenade there, I'm not really sure. Yeah, let's move you up here. Oh, really? You can't see any of them from there? Damn, I guess it's too much of an angle. Hmm. That's a terrible chance. This isn't going quite as well as I thought it would. Uh, I can punch you in the face. No, I can punch you in the face, right? That's what I was going to do? Go over there. No, I can't punch you in the face. Damn it. I'm going to punch you in the face. Right. You can punch in the face. Major M has earned a promotion. You deserve it. My punchy friend. And you're dead. See, this is why squad sight is amazing. You're basically not a real sniper if you don't have squad sight. Just plop them on top of a building, and they can shoot for the entire battlefield. So long as it's an outdoor map, you're good. Right, you're friggin' useless. I guess I'll just put you on an overwatch. You, I should move in for some action next turn. So let's move you up here. I could take this shot, but that's a terrible chance. So what should I do instead? Overwatch? Let's put you here. Yeah, you're safer, and I can move you into a good position next turn. Your move. You can heal all you want. It's not gonna matter. Okay. So, I can kill you. Extremely easily. Which is probably what I should do. Let's take a look around this corner, because I think I'll see the guy. Yep, there he is. Nice. You can't shoot anyone. I toss another one here. No reason to. Those are the only two left, I think. Just move her out to the edge here. Actually, I guess I might as well throw one, right? I can't shoot, I can't hunker down. There's no point in reloading. Yeah. Yep. 
They're the only two out there. Who's left? Actually, I'm. Oh, I don't have any grenades left. Damn it. Hmm. I think the flamethrower would be obstructed. How about Mr. Punchy Punchy? You are completely useless right now. Let's move you up here for next turn. Oh, shit. Wait, my battle scanner didn't reveal that? I guess he's just out of range? Huh, that's strange. Alright, that's a bit of a problem. It is a bit of a problem. It complicates things. I don't like complications. Let's move you up a bit here. See what your flamethrower can do. Nah, it's not going to work. Uh, I guess take the shot. Nope. I don't want to move out to half cover when three different people can shoot me. See what you can do. What could you do? You could kill him. You could kill him with a grenade. Are you fucking kidding me? Gah. It's so close to reaching. Nope, so much for that. I should probably just hide her around the corner. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna put her back around the corner. It's too dangerous. Fuck, she... It's too much of a damn angle to see, and I don't want to put her in half cover. Uh, I'll put her here. I think she can see around the corner. Yeah, okay. She's probably not gonna kill you. Hold on. Who should I kill with you? I should kill you with you, so... Alright, you know... This suppression is supposedly upgraded to hell because of... Uh, mayhem confers additional damage based on weapon tech level to suppression and all area of effect abilities. I, I need to use suppression more and just see what the hell it does. So, I'm just going to suppress you. Okay, two damage. Cool, I guess. Oh my god, they see me. Just watch your head, Arrow. There's some suppressing fire going on. Let's do rapid fire. It's an intro... <laughs> I think he shot his foot to death, Arrow, but that's cool. It worked. Oh, and it tried to move. He tried to move, and unfortunately, Soul missed. It's a thought that counts, though, right? Well, actually, no. Are, are you seriously running away instead of shooting at my people? Oh, there you go. There you go. That's how you take it. Oh, wow, okay, you missed. You are a very, very sad sniper. Right. I need to hack this freaking thing, so I'm just going to move you up. Who needs the experience? At this point, it's just a matter of giving the experience to the appropriate people. Blunda, you need experience. And Spectre. I'll give you first dib, Spectre. 
Ooh, don't have a headshot. Probably not gonna kill him. Try it anyway, maybe it'll crit. Nope. No crit. Alright, Blunda, you are next. Oh, full cover. Hold on, maybe we can soften it up for you. Moving to position. There we go, I'm gonna give you a helping hand, Blunda. There we go. Firing on target position. Oh, no cover at all. Nothing at all. 79, that's a bit better. And you still missed. missed the target. Yes, you did. Alright, who do I give these shots to? Soul, you are max level, so you really don't need experience for anything. Literally. Arrow, you are not max. Oh, I didn't actually mean to shoot, but that's fine because it worked anyway. And let's go punch you in the face. Alright, so there's probably going to be one more wave of Exalt troops, I'm imagining. Probably next turn. So let's get our people into a good position. You are in... Oh, you're in half cover. Yeah. Let's put you here. Yep, here we go. Well, you're getting punched in the face next turn. Really? Just, <laughs> just two? Okay. That's gonna be easy. That's the last of the relays, Commander. We've got Exalt's data. Now we just need to get the operative to the evac zone. New objective received. Or I could just kill them all. Which would be more fun. Right, so again, you're dead. Alright, Blunda, should I give you first dibs? Uh, let's go back to Spectre. Can't shoot. Damn. Here we go. No cover at all, 84%, that's pretty good. Oh my god, Blunder. Why do you keep blundering? Your name is unfortunately very appropriate. You missed a 70-something percent chance and an 80-something percent chance. Move you up here for the next turn. I actually want to reload your weapon. You're pretty low, but you're not. I'm gonna move you. Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload you. Move to the evac zone a little bit and reload your weapon. Alright, you're good. Overwatch with you, and you get to die. Didn't even need the second shot of rapid fire. We're detecting new contacts moving towards Strike One's current position. Ooh, rocket time! Is it rocket time? Ooh, that's an unfortunate spread. I think I'm just gonna farm them for XP. Yeah, why get to the evac zone? Let's just collect the XP.
Wow, full cover. And I have a 100% chance to hit it a 95 critical. I can't really pass that up. That's just too beautiful. Look at that. Oh, she didn't get a promotion for that. She totally deserved it. Alright, there's some more back here. There's one over there and one over here. Somewhere. In fact, let's discover where. It's back here, isn't it? I think. I'm gonna assume it is, because I'm gonna run and gun. I hope I remembered where it was pretty well. Yes, I did. Hello. And... Goodbye. <laughs> Man, she never needs the second shot of rapid fire to kill him. It's amazing. Alright, we'll start moving towards the evac zone. Alright, there's an exalt, exalt over here, which means if they come inside of here, she'll be flanked. So I'm gonna move her to the outside and just leave her here. Copy that. I could put you on Overwatch. Nah, I'm just gonna move you up. Let's see if he dares to show his face. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, there he is. Can I shoot his face off? I can shoot him with a pistol. Up to two damage. Maybe Spectre's so good she can shoot through the roof to kill him? No. Right, let's get some XP here. Scorch the earth. Scorch the earth indeed. Let's give Blunda a shot here. Heading to that location. 79, come on. Blunda. You missed a 70-something percent chance, and then an 80-something percent chance, and then a 70-something percent chance. What is wrong with you? I tried. That's all I can say. I, I tried. <sighs> now how do I kill you? Am I gonna have to rocket him? Is it rocket time? Unfortunately, it's not. Alright. Alright. Let's go in and shoot him in the face. <sighs> this is depressing. This is really depressing. Can I shoot from here? Nope. He's actually going to be able to shoot us. Wow. Heading to that location. I guess Overwatch. That puny little dude is actually going to be able to take a shot at us. That is just sad. Your turn. Good luck. Yeah, I thought so. 
Overwatch. <laughs> Yes, please clump together. I encourage you. Is it rocket time? Nope, it's still not rocket time. <sighs> I want it to be rocket time really badly. But it just never works out. Right. Can I AoE them? I don't have a grenade left, unfortunately. And I can't get anywhere near flaming range. Can't run and gun. Nah, I can't really AoE them. How do I handle this? It'd be easy just to be careless and just throw my units wherever because these alt are so easy, but if you get careless, bad things can happen, so I do want to be a little bit careful. Like, he can't kinetic strike, he can't shoot because he has no ammo, so he's not exactly in a very good position. Let's put you in a range for next turn. For a nice kinetic strike. Oh, oh yeah, Overwatch. Eh, whatever, shoot him in the back. Tr trust me, he's used to it. Plus, you just made him more resistant to damage for the next two turns. Ah. Also gonna move you into place. Gonna start a flame war next turn. I think I'm just going to ignore this guy. Yeah, fuck him. No heavy cover. I'm going to move you here. What better way to get battle experience than getting right into the shit? Could also protect us all with smoke. There's really no reason to. Let's just get you some experience. There you go, Blunda. That's how you shoot someone. You finally figured it out. Goodbye. you closer so that everyone can get to the evac zone next turn. So where do I put you that's safe? Yeah, you're safe. Ooh, ooh, okay, whew. That's a little bit scary. Sniper against sniper, and this sniper doesn't have the vest. Right? I didn't give you the vest? No, I didn't. A crit could kill her. But anyway, actually there's no reason to really get to the evac zone, is there? There really isn't. Into that location. Let's move you in a full cover here. A little more experience, maybe? <laughs> he hits the 250-something percent chances, but misses the 270s and the 180. Who else needs experience? You know what? 
That bastard tried to shoot at you. Why don't you shoot him back? All right, there's one on the left. Sniper back there. On my way. Just do some Overwatch. Protect the operative. Surround her. Let's reload this damn weapon. Yeah, I'll put you back there. Protect you from the sniper that's somewhere over here. Overwatch. Oh, there you are. Well, I'm probably not going to be able to kill you, so I'm just going to suppress you. Gonna farm this XP. He's almost back up to full health already. Yeah, good luck. Well, he blew up her cover. Who can I give XP to? You could. Mm, no, you're not gonna get a shot. Nah, alright, let's just kill him. You know what? Let's go out with a bang, shall we? Goodbye. Rocket time! Finally! I really wanted to use that rocket. I had to. That was a successful mission. It took a lot longer than I thought it would, but... Very successful. Don't think anyone took any damage except for, uh... My kinetic strike dude whose name I've already forgot. I'm sorry. A flawless effort. Not a single casualty. Uh Moose, yes. M. Oh, Spectre ha what? I didn't think it said she got promoted, but apparently she has been. Cool. Executioner or opportunist? I think execution is better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with executioner just like I did for Isley. Oh, my first colonel. Holy shit! What do we have here? My first colonel mech trooper. Absorption fields. Any hit that does more damage than 33% of the mech's maximum health is reduced to that number. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. 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 Reactive targeting sensors. Mech gets a free shot back at the first enemy who attacks the mech each turn, provided there's enough ammo to do so. Hmm. So it's a free Overwatch. Well, no, it's a free reaction fire against those who shoot him. Big difference. Because if they don't shoot him, it doesn't activate. <sighs> okay. So this allows you to be a bullet magnet. Actually, they both allow you to be a bullet magnet. This means you can run into the field and do damage when you're being shot at. And chances are you will be the one that gets shot at because you're the one at the front of the field and not in cover. So the chance of activating is actually pretty high. Absorption, absorption field. That prevents massive crits against you. However, the more health you have, the less effective this gets. The more health you have, the less chance of any single attack, emphasis on a single attack, doing more than 33% of damage. Doing more than 33% of your health. That doesn't sound that great. How often do you take such massive shots? Uh, 
I don't know. Honestly, neither of these sound amazing. Not like Overdrive, which allows you to shoot twice. I mean, this would allow him to be even more of a tank, which kind of is his thing. It wouldn't protect you at all from a bunch of small shots, though, only a big ones. Especially crits. This could be very effective later on when you're facing some opponents that do massive amounts of damage. I don't remember how many of those there are, though. I'm gonna go with this, because he is a tank. He is a tank, that's what he's supposed to be, so let's do that. Oh yeah, Gary Warner's come back, and I believe we get a bonus, right? Yep, credit reward 100, which partially makes up for the 50. Actually, no, more than makes up for the 50 that Exalt stole. And apparently the base is not in South Africa. Good to know. Exalt intel decryption complete. Eliminating statistical improbabilities for possible exalt location. So, where does that leave? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places. Hmm. Got a bit more money, but I believe I want to save my money for... Yeah, I want to save my money for one of these... One of these things. I want to upgrade my mechs. I think I'm going to upgrade their mobility, because that seems to be the most important thing at the moment. That's the, thing, that's the thing that's keeping them back so much, is just the ability for them to move close enough to use their freaking abilities. I would so love it if my mechs had some sort of run-and-gun sort of thing. So they could run up to an enemy and use a flamethrower, but I guess that might be OP. I don't know. Anyway, I think that's all there is to do right now, really. Yeah, I'm still waiting for an easy mission so I can throw in a bunch of my newbies. I threw in some of my lower ranked, but I really want some more new classes that aren't assault. Please, no more assault. I don't need more assault. Oh. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh god, this episode's gonna be over two hours. Holy crap. Okay, I better end this here. Alright, well, I hope everyone has enjoyed so far. And I will be back soon.